Dan. We had him in last year right before their event, and this is Mark Gregory with Bacon and Blues Festival. How are you doing, Mark? Doing great. Good. Thank you for having us in here to help us spread the word. Oh, you're welcome. No, no problem at all. Now, with this Bacon and Blues Festival, how long has it been going on? This will be its fourth year. Yes. So we've been doing really well with it. It's been going great, and uh, I think this is going to be a, we're moving it to a new location this year. Because it's gotten so big. Yep, and we've got a new location. We've rented the South Harrison Park. It's a 220-acre park. Oh, my gosh. We've rented the entire park for the weekend. And then how many bands do you have coming in for the weekend? Well, we've got three bands on Saturday and three bands on Sunday. And then there's actually a youth blues contest that will be on a side stage. It's going to go on in between the main acts performing. Oh, wow. But... This is really cool, I think. What is going to be the big prize for the person or the band that wins that contest? The youth contest with the band that wins that, they're going to be the opening act on Saturday the following year. They have the option to do that. Oh, well, that'll give everybody a chance. Like next year, they'll do it again. Yeah. They'll have a new act. That gives them a little yeah. boost up. Uh -huh. encourages them to keep doing what they're doing, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it sure does. That's great. But it's going to be, if you want to hear blues music, you're going to hear a lot of <laughs> blues music on Saturday and Sunday. You all have made sure you've kind of <laughs> packed it in there, haven't you? We do. Now, there, there's also things that are going to be going on besides that. What are some of the other events? Well, on Saturday, we've got a motorcycle show. Right. That's going to be there. On Sunday, there's a car show. And then also on Saturday, we have the decorated pig auction that we're doing. We've done that every year where we have... People will decorate pigs, these little porcelain pigs, right. and then we auction them off. Oh, that is! I think those are the coolest <laughs> things. And I tell you what, we're going to come back to those here in just a minute. So we're going to be right back after a message from our sponsors. Looking for that special gift for your favorite outdoor enthusiast? Or for yourself? You'll find it here. DG Power Sports has all your outdoor sporting supplies and parts. We're located at 10390 Highway 421 North in Milton, Kentucky. We're just two miles from Madison, Indiana and only a short distance from the Dirty Turtle Off-Road Park and Dakota Racetrack. We are open Tuesdays through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I am Darren Gross. Thank you for your support and I look forward to seeing you. Well, we're back with the pigs, and we're going to show you what they get to do. These, these are the porcelain pigs that they have, and they're actually piggy banks. See the little piggy bank thing in there? And this is how they start out. And then what requirements do you have for people that are doing these? What, what are the specifications they have to follow in order to enter their pig? Well, we have a form on our website that they download, and it has all the information on it. And they'll take and decorate these pigs, and uh, they... It's $25 for the pigs. Right. And then once they've got them decorated, they turn them back into us, and then we auction them off. Oh. And then the pig that raises the most money, and the, instruct and the information on that is in the form, they will get the money for their pig, and then we keep the money for all the other pigs. Oh, neat. Yeah. So they actually get a big bonus. Yeah. The so, one, yeah, the yeah. one that has the best-selling pig gets, right. a, gets a bonus. And then we keep the money for all the other pigs. Well, that's yeah. pretty good. That's a nice donation. Yes, it is. I just I love these. Every every year they bring these in, and I think they're really cool. And if if you can see the one here, this one has Indians on it and feathers, and they've decorated the top of it in his ears. So he well, just looks really neat. And the person that uh, decorated that was Native American. Right. And uh, and decorated that, and then. And gave that to us for the auction. That's a, they did an amazing job. And we, then the one you have is what? Oh, this one was from Best Winery. That uh, he added this into the auction, and so. Uh, what does it represent? Is it is it Father Time? Is it a time no, machine? No, it's a or? distillery. A distil oh, this is the boiler. This is yeah the, the, the boiler and the funnel to get it in, and oh, all the yeah, you can see the gauges. The gauges. See that all the gauges cool. on it. See, I knew there was something. I was like, it represents something, but I couldn't quite yeah. get it there. So, <laughs> I love that one. I think that's yeah. cool. Yes, it is. That was very creative. creative. Now, who entered this one? Best Winery. Best Winery entered that yeah. one. Well, you, Best Winery, you did a good job. I like that. <laughs> so, now, 
what else do they get to do besides decorate? Are there any other contests besides these? Uh, well, I was just going to say that the, that they're also this year we've added into the fact too. If you want to, you can have. If you don't want to do a porcelain pig, right. you can do one that's of similar size that you can create yourself. Oh, so they can so, make their own pig, own out, pig of out of clay or clay or whatever. We've had one person that's already used uh, helium tanks, small helium tanks to create pigs. A pig, and so it's you oh, know if you're wow. gonna get creative here and go for it. Right. <laughs> Um, that's de that's definitely all of them that you've ever shown me. I just think they really put a lot of thought into them before they make them. Oh, it, the, some of them are just incredible. Yeah, I mean it's just really amazing. Some of them. I just I don't know. I just love their pigs. These are cool. <laughs> and what other things can you have? That you have any other contests of any kind besides the band and the pigs? No, those are all the contests. Yes. The rest of it is uh, the time with the, all the music going on. Of course, right. we have vendors that are going to be there with arts and crafts. We have food vendors, of course, right. bacon. It is a bacon-themed event. <laughs> <laughs> and so everybody's going to have something to do with bacon. Right. I've seen one person had bacon earrings. So mm. it was, <laughs> 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 of course, there's bacon food. You right. know, and, uh, you know, hopefully this year we'll have the candied bacon back. That was a big seller last year. It went over really well. Now, how do you candy bacon? What do they do to candy the bacon? I don't know. It was magical. <laughs> it was wonderful. In other words, you liked it, didn't you? <laughs> it was great. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I got it. <laughs> so if I show up, I have to have the candied bacon. Candy bacon is great. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, is there anything else we need to make sure they know about your side of it before we have the wineries come in? Well, this is being put on by the Elizabeth Lions Club. Right. And um, you can, you will, 100% of everything we make right. as part of the Lions Club, uh, it goes back into community projects. Oh, yes. I mean, it's 100% it's of what we make. Now, we do have as part of this project, 10% goes to the Crusade for Children. Right. There is a $10 entry fee to get into the festival, and we do have the entire park, so you get into the park, there's a $10 entry <laughs> fee. Uh, there's also a wine tent, mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna, there's a $5 entry fee to get into the wine tent, Right. and there'll also be a, uh, for the first uh, couple hundred coming in, there'll be a, a wine glass with, a, with our logo on it. And there is also, if you go to the site, you'll see that we have some limited camping. Right. And so the, the, our website, the Southern Indiana Bacon and Blues Festival .org, okay. has all the information on it. And you can also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Elizabeth Lions Club. Oh, neat. Then you can follow along with all the other uh, projects we do with the free movies in the park. And right. Our, um, we have a golf scramble in the spring. We have a chili cook-off in the fall and uh, in December. And, of course, we have the... In October, 5th and 6th, we have the Bacon and Blues, Blues Festival. Yeah, yeah. Well, now, what's the phone number that they can get in contact with you? If you want to get hold of me, you can call me on my home phone, 812-737-2392. And then as soon as you get to the phone and you can get through the messages, you'll return their phone call. Yes, I'll definitely do that. Yeah. Just leave a message and I'll return the call. Awesome. Well, we're really glad you stopped in today. Well, thank you for having us. Oh, we appreciate it. Well, you're welcome. I think this is gonna this is a neat event, and it does serve a lot of people. And Lions Club also, you do other things besides just help out in the community. Um, do y'all have anything to do with you know? Um, what are some of the specific things? I guess I'm asking. Well, some of the we projects do. we've done, of course, glasses. Everybody yes. has glasses. Some people don't know that. <laughs> yeah, we have the school will call us up and say they have a child that just wasn't able to pass a test to read because of glasses, and then right. we'll take care of getting their glasses for them. And we'll send them over to a, uh, to a doctor to get the glasses, and we'll, t we'll take care of the bill for that. Right. We've had people call us up that are needing to go to dialysis and needing gasoline money, so we'll right. go over and arrange for them to get gas. We've had the one person had a medical emergency, and their door was kicked in, and we put in up a new door and frame right, for right. them to help pay for that. One of our biggest projects that we've worked on is our veterans van. Yes. Uh, we spearheaded a few years ago getting a new van for the veterans of our Harrison County. That's big. We're very lucky that we have a van, veterans van in our county that transports uh, veterans to and from their VA medical appointments. Yes. And that's through the Veterans Service Office. 
And so we spearheaded the project to raise the money to get a new van to replace the 1998 one. Right. Our chapter raised $8,700 of the $16,000. Right. And we've already started on replacing, raising money for the second van, and our chapter has already raised 4000 of that money to, to get towards that. That's awesome. It's always so, nice to know what, what these funds go yeah. to, because people don't realize how big of an impact you have on the community when you do things like this. We do, uh, you know, food bank. We help right. to the food bank. We've purchased shirts for the track team yes. and just scholarships and just all kinds of things like that that we take and well, that's awesome. use to put back in the community. You mean, you know, it's a small chapter. We may not be able to change the world, but it could mean the world to the people we help. And it does. It really does. So you, you guys are doing a good job. So we're trying. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's really rewarding to see when you help somebody. Yeah. And, and right. usually they turn around and help somebody yeah. else, so it's a it ripple is. effect. It is true. It's so, true. well, really glad you came in today. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Now, we're going to be right back after this message with the wineries at the Bacon and Blues Festival. So stay with us. I want you guys to meet Wilbert Best. He is actually with the wineries. And Wilbert, what are some of the things that are going to be going on with the winery side of it? Oh, lots of craziness. Um, oh, so far, we've got two wineries. We're hoping to get a couple more, but right. you know, it's fall festival time, so there are, uh, we're, we're seeing whose schedule has not already been taken. Right. Um, uh, we'll have uh, we'll have wine tastings. Um, you'll be able to drink a glass of wine, have wine by the bottle. Um, We'll have uh, sangries and slushies and cocktails and all right. that. You know, we also have distilled spirits, so we'll have um, uh, we'll have sangries and cocktails made made with that in there as well. And these are signature drinks that are wines that come with that winery, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Best Vineyards will be there, and um, uh, Hunter's Ridge Winery up in Salem uh, will be there. Uh, like I said, we're we're still looking for a couple more, but yeah, they'll we'll all have our our wines there. We all make our own wines. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be sampling and having fun. Now, how much is it for them to get into the wine tents? Uh, it'll be five dollars, and when they come in, they'll get uh, they'll, they'll get their little wine glass. It's got the right. the event logo on it. Uh, I think it's the first two hundred or five hundred something. Like get that. the glasses because yeah. you only made so many glasses. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, the other guys, you know, we'll have plastic sample cups for them to, to oh, sample yeah. and consume out of. Yeah. So. With that entry fee, how many wines do they get to taste with that five dollar entry fee? Uh, as many as they want. So you oh know, when, you, when you come in, you'll uh, so your best vineyards are usually will have between eight and twelve wines. Yeah. And then the other wines, again, you know, I would say eight, you know, eight, eight, eight to twelve wines. And then, uh, like I said, you can sample all of them. So if I want to just come and stay in the wine tin, I'm good, right? <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, when you when you say sample of wine, it's like you know one sample of each each wine. Right. Uh, if if you want like twenty samples of one wine, we call that a glass of wine. Oh, okay. Uh, and you know, we typically charge okay. for that part. So I guess I'm not good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and again, we'll have uh, we'll have wine slushies there as well, and then like right. I said sangrias, and like I said, you'll be able to sample all the all right. all, all of the various stuff. What is the most unique wine you think you all are going to have this week this year? Um, for us, we'll have our lemon wine there. It's made with lemon juice, oh so my it's gosh. yeah. You also have a peach wine, right? We do. We yeah, we have a peach. We do a lot of fruit wine, so we have peach and mango, uh, blackberry, blueberry. Uh, we'll have our spiced apple there, but uh, right now the, the the wine that everyone is clamoring for is our is our lemon wine. And what makes it so unique? I mean, what makes it what makes it uh, good? Is it the is it's it dry? Is it a oh no, it's sweet a, it, wine? it's a sweet wine. It literally tastes like you're drinking a glass of lemonade. And oh my so, goodness! Uh, it's chilled down, you know, hot afternoon. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's very very popular. And again, it's it's for a wine, it's it's quite unique. You don't see a lot of lemon wines out there. No, so, I don't think I've ever heard of lemon wine. Yeah, so I, I like to get creative. Do, uh, do that's do what you stuff. said last year. You'd like to be creative. So, yeah. have you done dandelion wine? I have not. You know, I, I, I I'm drawing the line at the weeds. <laughs> so, um. You know, so we we can't have any weed wine. No, no, no. We're uh, we'll have elderberry wine. Uh, so we're we're. Well, yeah, now you're in the weeds again. It, it's not, it's not a weed. It's it's a flowering bush. Okay, so I know. My grandfather. There's used a difference. To make, he used to make elderberry wine. Yes. It doesn't smell so good at first, but it's good afterwards. <laughs> yes. So we're uh, our our we, we we've actually had an elderberry patch for quite some time, yes. but uh, the weather has not been cooperative because we get a drought. Oh, we get droughts, yes. and the berries would just dry up and fall off off the bush. This they year do. we've had enough moisture 
the berries have actually formed right. and are staying on, so we'll, we'll, we'll be able to harvest and right. actually make some product. Now, I've noticed when I was a kid that Kentucky doesn't have elderberries as prominent everywhere as Indiana does. So it, it's kind of funny that... Uh, um, it's uh, it's kind of one of those you know a lot of places spray weed killer and kill them off. I mean because they're they yeah, they are a wild uh, a wild bush. Right. Uh, we, we've actually uh, brought in some um, tame varieties and, and planted those and made our own bramble out of those. Now are those um, berries bigger than the wild ones? The the berries aren't bigger the the berry heads. So you know the it yes. starts out comes out and has a big of... white flower. Right. And each of those flowers turns into a berry. The, the berry heads themselves are much larger in the tame varieties than the wild varieties. Oh, wow. Now, is the flavor any different? Not, not really. No, it's it's a very um, um, dark berry. You know, right. It has a very earthy note to it. Uh, yeah, but yeah, the, the flavor is right. pretty much the same across 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 the board. Well, wow. now what's the what's the sweetest wine you have? Um, right now, it's probably mango. Uh, so we, yeah, we make one out of mango fruit and... Um, uh, that, that we actually bring that fruit in, we do not grow that. Cause, you know, <laughs> yeah, that was a little hard to grow here. <laughs> well, everybody's like, how do you grow mangoes? I'm like, we, we, we don't grow mangoes. No. We, we buy that one. Right. So, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, that, I'm not sure where they come from, but, you know. That's okay. Come from the land of mangoes. And you do watermelon wine? Uh, we do not do a watermelon wine. However, we do a uh, watermelon uh, uh, slushy and yes. uh, sangria. So we, yeah. So you do have the what we call the country blends. Yes, yes. Yeah. Again, what watermelon is a very unstable fruit. If you make wine yes. out of it, it will not keep. You have to blend it with something for for shelf stability. Right. So I mean, you can make wine out of it, but it only, it's only good for like a week, and then right. it, then it goes south. So you gotta. I don't think a lot of people know that. Yeah. Was well, there anything else unique you can tell us about the winery? Um. Again, you know, we're we're down in Harrison County, Southern Indiana. Um. Out of uh, Highway 11, uh, just just north of it, uh, Elizabeth, um, right. we're about three miles from the Horseshoe Casino. Um, again, just come out and visit us, check us out, have fun. And, now, what um, is the address for the winery? Uh, the winery is 8373 Morgan's Lane, Elizabeth, right. Indiana. Okay. Um, again, I would have loved to host them this year, but I, I don't have enough room. <laughs> That's what last year you all were worried about having enough room, and yes. you knew that if it got bigger, you'd have to move it. So yeah, even with the rain, you still have to move it. Uh, yeah, yeah. That I mean, you had yeah, last year. Yeah. Well, we didn't have that much rain last year. We just had a sprinkle. It was two years ago that was the oh, okay. was the bad rain. But um, yeah, you know, with the addition of the of the motorcycle show and the car yes. show, you know, they're expecting a couple hundred uh, vehicles for each each of that. Oh. And I'm like, right, guys, there's 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 no room left at the end. <laughs> so, by the time we park all the visitor cars and then right. uh, have the booth set up and the band set up and right. places for people to set. Uh, yeah, there was there was just no place left uh, to, to 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 put all the uh, the motorcycles and and uh, cars, antique cars. Yeah. Yeah. So. so now this event is when uh, October October fifth and sixth, first right. full Saturday, Sunday in October. And um, then the car show is one day, and the the motorcycle Sunday? show is on Saturday, yes. and then the car show will be on Sunday. Okay. And then the wine tents will be open both days. Yes. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, the, yeah, the tents will be there both days, and uh, like I said, we'll. Uh, fun to have be had by all. Now what are the prizes they get for the motorcycles and the cars? Uh, well everybody who enters gets a uh, gets a, um, a little plaque says you yes. know, thank you for participating. Right. Well, and then I believe they're going to do a best of show for, right. for, for, for that and again I'm not real clear on the little in individual right. things, classes and stuff that and the motorcycles and cars and all that but uh, I'm, I'm, I hear they're going to have something. And, so. and we can all find out all about that on the website. Yes they've got forms and entry forms right. and information forms out on the, uh, the uh, Southern Indiana the Bacon website. and Blues website or .org website. Yeah. Oh awesome. Now in order to get in to the car show or the motorcycle show that's not a separate entry fee is it no the, the, just to come in yeah they have to i believe they have to fill out an entry form yes. right? it says they're, they're going to do it so that they don't have many people they're going right. to have but yeah when you pay your entry to get into the park that's the entry into the the thing you just have to say hey i've got a car i'm going to show or a motorcycle. Oh, awesome now how much is it to get into the park again uh it's ten dollars and uh, is it ten dollars a person or ten dollars a vehicle Ten dollars per person. That's what I thought. And okay. then they'll get a wristband, yes. so if they gotta leave and come back or something like that. We've they got, can. We, yeah, they don't have to pay another ten dollars to get in. So it's, it's oh, so they can pay ten dollars on Saturday and then come back on Sunday. No, no. Or do you have to pay ten dollars each day. Ten dollars each day. Yeah. Gotcha. See, I was gonna, I was thinking that was that was a little 
inexpensive. <laughs> no, no, no. But if for some reason you had to leave on Saturday the, and then coming back, back on Saturday, Saturday, you wouldn't pay. Yeah. Yes, I got it. So one time. One time. One day. <laughs> one day is ten dollars. Yes. The next day is ten dollars. Well, mm -hmm. that's perfect. Yeah, and like I said, we've uh, got three bands on Saturday, three on Sunday. Uh, they're great bands. Uh, uh, Marty, um, with Marty's Music, has uh, right. organized and gathered the bands for us. And uh, again, they, they, they do a fantastic job. Well, it sounds like you all are going to have a lot of fun. We're hoping so. Well, we're really glad you came and visited with us today. All right. Well, thank you all for uh, having us. You're welcome. Now, you guys, you're going to have to check this out. Make sure you go to their website, and you're going to see it run across the screen here in just a minute. So go to their website. You'll check out all the events that are going to be going on, all the bands they're going to have. You're going to see where he's going to have his tent. You're going to get to see what kind of wines he's going to be having there. And like I said, you need to check this out. It's going to be a, a really neat event. We've really appreciate all of our sponsors that help us make sure you get this show and as always we thank you for watching